Then that movie came out and it did really well in Europe. Nothing in America. Nobody, nobody cares. And it's kind of, you know, Walking Dead. Walking Dead was another huge deal. And it was my first big thing after that movie. I think I got, well, it was the first big thing. Yeah, I think so. And same kind of thing. Walking Dead, biggest show in the world. Biggest show in the world when I joined it. There is nowhere in the world you can go and not be recognized, especially since I had long hair and a beard. I'm very recognizable. Hugely successful. Now, that was a real beard. Yeah, I, not the first season it was fake. First season was and fake, then, yeah. And the hair, I had extensions, but I grew the beard out and then the extensions grew less and less while right. I was on the show. But huge thing, this is amazing, industry doesn't care. You know, you're like, yeah. it's the biggest, literally the biggest show in the world, industry doesn't care. And I'm like, wow, this is another lesson. Like, you know, you're on top of the world. This is great. I get recognized everywhere. This is definitely raising my profile. Huge fan base. I didn't think of it you know. like that. It's wild. It like Instagram so account. The fans goes the roof. are nuts. They love the show. It's everywhere. You go to cons, they just embrace you guys. But you're saying the industry doesn't really give a shit. It definitely not, didn't. You know, you're on a hit show and you're seen by all these people, millions of people. Why wouldn't they want to put you in a movie or another TV show immediately? Because all those fans are going to want to see what you're doing. And that's what would make yeah, sense think. to me. Yeah. But it's, you know, industry can be funny like that, you know, and then you can, or you can be on a show like Succession, which, which I enjoyed and I thought was great. But compared to like Walking Dead, like nobody watched it. No. But the industry loved it. Yeah. So, I mean, that just happens, you know, Su and, you never too know. Much for me. It's too much stress. I can't watch yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> I, I have it's dysfunction growing up. I don't need that. Yeah, I know. It's, it's very fine. stressful. I don't need it. I'm sure it's great. Yeah, yeah. You know. It's um, very British. It's, you can tell it's written by a British person, and but with American accents. Like, right. Like, for us, it's, it's like a black comedy yeah. uh, succession. Did you hate wearing that beard in the first season? Yes. I hate did fake you, facial hair. But did you hate it because when you saw it, you're like, oh, it's fake. Yes. I, I signed those photos from the first season at conventions and I hate it. <laughs> but it's the most recognizable version of me. And it's when people first met me on the show. And I had a really great first episode that was very memorable. Yes. So people like really remember that. Um, and But yeah, I obviously I'm like, this is it's terrible. But I obviously, and I can, I mean, it does look different the other seasons. But people remember that. And, you know, I had a shit ton of extensions. and and How long were you in makeup? Good. Oh, I can't remember. Like at least an hour. Forty-five minutes. Well, we had the the FX team. I got passed on to the FX team to do that. Um, and we ended up cutting it into like five different sections. It was really wild. I got cast on a a Wednesday. No, I got cast on a Friday. I was in London. My uh, wife, uh, girlfriend at the time, was in Stockholm. I flew to Stockholm to see her that weekend, and then I flew to London to be fitted for the. They had the beard made in London. And then I flew to Atlanta and I was filming on the Wednesday. It was Come really on. quick. Every, but everything like. Were you nervous? Um, yes. I had not worked for a year before that so point. So you felt like, do I have it still? I just, <laughs> the, my first proper scene, first scene was like me unconscious in a car, but my first proper scene with uh, Andrew Lincoln and Norman. So they're the two biggest guys on the show and the whole episode is just me and them. And uh, isn't it like in a town, if I remember? Or it's like, like little, little... Sonoya, they shoot it, which is like an hour south of Atlanta, uh, where they have the studios and where yeah. they shoot everything. So it's nice because you're kind of away, away from LA, away from New York, right. you're just in your own bubble. Um, but my first, I've been, my character's been running and I like appear in front of them. And uh, we had Kari Skoglin directed that, who's a wonderful director who's doing amazing now. And she was really good to me on the episode. And she came in and was just like, just a little bit, a little bit quieter and more real. Cause I was like, I'm running. And I was like shouting at my first, like, Hey guys. And I was like, okay, this is way too big, way too big. Like, but that's down, how you down. kind of felt like a real person would do it. Yeah. But then you of. have to come down to TV movie world. You're like, where normally you'd say like, no, don't do it. And then you're like, no, do <laughs> A little bit, don't do it. a little bit. Do and also like the show that was season six and the show had kind of found its groove and found its style yeah. and everyone kind of had their lane that they were occupying. Yeah. Uh, and so you had to kind of fit in to that aesthetic. Were there egos? I mean, yeah, everyone has an ego, everyone especially when ego. it's the biggest television show in the world, you know? Yeah. So definitely people, like I said, had fallen into lanes of like, this is what the show is and this is where we are. You could just tell their sort of swagger like, yeah, I'm on a big hit show. I think it affected some people that I was like, it's a TV show. Yeah. I, like, and I, and I did, I did respect it. Absolutely. Um, but I definitely always had the attitude of it's a TV show. 
It's a team. Um, Did and you I like think, those people? Yeah, yeah. You liked everybody. Get along. No, with I, and we spend a lot of time together outside of the show at conventions. We're going to see each sure. other, you know, forever. I think at right. this point. Um, and I've seen <laughs> forever, uh, forever and ever. You know, just that's a good to, thing. It, no, it is great, and it's it's a very singular experience being on a show like that, which is so big. Um, doesn't happen to everyone, you know, like Game of Thrones or Walking Dead. Like you've only had that experience with those people, so it's cool to reminisce. And but it's it's weird now because like even like the luck experience. I'm like I was still unaware like when you're in it you're kind of unaware of how big it is R honest if i'm honest right now i'd be like damn i should have made more money <laughs> like outside of the show you know yeah. just like damn like i did a bunch of conventions and it was great and we we made money and that's honestly what, how i bought my house but like i damn i should have like done other stuff just while that show was the hottest show in the world yeah. like just milk it and milk it well, because hindsight's 2020 absolutely then you have a fallow period and you're like damn 